Hi friends, I'm Dave Barclow, pastor at Fort Walton Beach First United Methodist. Welcome to the Pastor Study, our daily devotional to help us focus our mind on the things of God. We are in the Gospel of Mark. We are in that final week of Jesus' life where he is putting out uh, his teachings. He is uh, uh, emphasizing the things that are most important to him. Uh, and we're going to begin at chapter 13, uh, verses 1 through 8 uh, today. As he came out of the temple, one of his disciples said to him, Look, teacher, what large stones and what large buildings. Then Jesus asked him, Do you see these great buildings? Not one stone will be left here upon another. All will be thrown down. When he was sitting on the Mount of Olives opposite the temple, Peter, James, John, and Andrew asked him privately, Tell us, when will this be? And what will be the sign that these things are about to be accomplished? Then Jesus began to say to them, Beware that no one leads you astray. Many will come in my name and say, I am he, and they will lead many astray. When you hear of wars and rumors of wars, do not be alarmed, for this must take place. But the end is still to come. For nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be earthquakes in various places. There will be famines. But this is the beginning of the birth pains. Here, uh, a couple of different things are, are going on. The first thing is Jesus is leaving the temple. They're headed back towards uh, the Mount of Olives uh, where he uh, must be kind of home base. Maybe he's gone there uh, to pray, as we know is his, is his custom. Uh, but they're sitting there and they're talking, uh, or they're, they're leaving the temple and they're talking, and the disciples are very impressed with the building. Big stones. Herod's temple uh, is supposed to be this amazing structure uh, that was built. In fact, it was under construction even in the first century. It had been under construction for many years. It was an impressive, impressive sight. Uh, and the disciples are in awe of it. And, and they kind of say, Jesus, look at this building. Look at how big it is. Look how beautiful it is. And Jesus is, is uh, unimpressed. Jesus is not impressed with this building. And he says, offhandedly almost, I I'm telling you, the, the building's not that important. There'll come a time when one stone is not even left on the other. Uh, I think this is important for us. Jesus knows what's important. And it's not big, impressive buildings. It's not uh, feats of engineering. What's important are people. Uh, what's important is the mission that God has given Jesus and the fact that Jesus has now entrusted us with his mission. But like many people, uh, the, this just floors the disciples. The, the fact that this is possible, these great stones will be strewn around, they want more information. Now, so later they go and they ask him, Jesus, tell us about this. When, when will this be? What are the signs that, that the temple will be destroyed? And, uh, and Jesus doesn't really help them out a whole lot. He, he first says, be aware. Be wary of people who come uh, in my name. Uh, be wary of people who would lead you away from the mission that I have given you because the mission is the important thing. And, and, and yes, there will be wars. There will be rumors of wars. There will be earthquakes in various places. I mean, Jesus is not specific here. There will be famine. Again, where? Jesus, Jesus here is not giving them any real information because the point is not to prophesy the end of things. It's not to foretell uh, what's going to happen. Jesus wants to keep his disciples focused on the main thing, that God wants to reconcile the world to God's self through Jesus Christ. That's the mission. Whether it's buildings, whether it's prophecy, those things do not, do not matter unless we keep the main thing the main thing. So friends, my, my hope, my prayer for you and for me today is that we would keep Jesus Christ the main thing in our life. Let's honor him uh, as we look deeply into his word, as we pray for our world, as we tell others about the good news that there is life and light and meaning and purpose found in Jesus Christ. Uh, friends, remember, I love you. Take care of yourselves and shine the light of Christ.